Good morning. Uh, it's a great pleasure to participate with my friends uh, Olaf, uh, Bruno and, and Daniele uh, to mark this important milestone in the deployment of the European Recovery Plan. Key national plans are being sent to the European Commission and this will kick off the process uh, leading to the implementation of this ambitious programme of investments and reforms throughout the EU. To mitigate the impact of the health crisis in the short run, to support a structural transformation of our economies in the mid-run and to make our economies and societies more resilient, more sustainable, inclusive and fair in the long run. For the past years, the four of us, together with the rest of Member States, have devoted a lot of energy to fighting the pandemic. It is a global challenge requiring joint responses and Europe has stood up to the challenge. From the very beginning, we have acted in a coordinated manner to respond to the economic and social impact of the health crisis. We have deployed a safety net for governments, for companies and citizens, which has allowed us to preserve a strong basis for the recovery. And moreover, beyond those short-term responses, we have agreed on a joint ambitious recovery plan, which will allow to build a stronger Europe. With Next Generation EU, we have decided to borrow together in order to invest together in our joint future, to boost the economic recovery and drive the twin digital and green transitions, to support innovation and address inequalities, fostering social and territorial cohesion, improving education and skills for young people and closing gaps. Spain is putting forward an ambitious plan to mobilize 140 billion of public investment by 2026 with a clear front-loading, so that private investment is already mobilised in 2021 and also to undertake ambitious transformative reforms for the next generation so as to ensure to, that our country can be one of the engines of the European recovery. The Spanish recovery plan builds on the cross-cutting four pillars, green transition, digital transformation, social and territorial cohesion and gender equality. It foresees a coherent and balanced package of investments and reforms to be implemented in the coming three years, devoting almost 40% of investment to the green transition, 30% to the digital transformation, 10% to education and skills, and 7% to R&D. Uh, um, we have already launched the first phase of implementation and we will continue to work hard in the coming weeks and months to ensure implementation on the ground when the funds are mobilised in the second part of the year. Time is of the essence, as, as uh, the other colleagues have already said, and swift approval of the plans will be key to ensure that our actions at national level continue to interact and reinforce those of our neighbours, to provide our citizens with hope and confidence in the future after such a challenging period, and to confirm once more that we are stronger when we act together. Thank you very much.